chapter wise list of all my videos is available at this point for dvd pen drive please write an email to me these videos they do not require internet they play offline there is no problem of buffering and please subscribe to my channel for regular updates thank you thank you for your support once again A square lawn has a path 4 meter wide around it. If the area of the path is 196, then each side of the lawn is what? Let us first of all draw a schematic for this. This is a schematic that we have drawn. This inner square represents the square lawn and this outer portion is the path around it and the area of this path this path the area of this path has been given to us and its value has been given to us as 196 square meter and we have to find out and and we have also been given the width of this path has as 4 meters this is width on all the four sides and we have to find out the length of the square lawn that is if this length is l we have to find out the value of this l let us mark what we have already one thing that we have is that the length of the outer square would be this l is of the inner square 4 added on this side and 4 added on the upper side this will make the length as l plus 8 so this length this length has been given to us as l plus 8 meters so we have the outer square which is of l plus 8 meter the inner square is of l meter if we subtract the area of the inner square from the outer square we will be able to obtain the area for the shaded portion that is the area of the path can be obtained so we can set up an equation we can for example write here that l plus 8 whole square this is the area of the outer square minus the area of the inner square l square this has been given to us as 196 we can now open this square it will be l square which implies l square plus 2ab 2l into 8 16l plus the square of 8 64 this quantity minus this quantity l square should be equal to 196 this l square will cancel out this l square so we will be left with which implies 16l plus 64 is equal to 196 now we can take 64 to the other side it will be subtracted from 196 and then bring 16 down which implies l should be equal to 196 minus 64 by this 16 which is equal to this we can see will be 
132 by 16. This now goes on the table of 4 and this also goes on the table of 4. So what we will be left with is 33 by 4 which is equal to 8.25 meters. Let us move to our next question now. The side of a square increases by 10% then find by what percent does its area increase. This is a simple question which we can best solve by using the 100 as the base. So we will say that let the side be equal to 100 which implies area is equal to 100 square which is equal to this much. This is what we have and after increase after increase side will be equal to side increases by 10% so it will be 100 plus 10 percent of 100. 10 percent of what it is. So we can see that this figure comes to this 100 will cancel out. So we will get 100 10. And what is the new area? new area is equal to 110 square which we can see is 11 square will be 121 it will be 121 double zero so what is the increase which implies the increase is increase is equal to 121.00 minus this 10,000 the area that was earlier. So we can see that this figure will be 21.00 and the percent increase is required. So for that we will write percent increase will be equal to 2100 the actual increase by the original value which was 10,000 by 10,000. In a hurry many people will simply write 100 here by mistake. That would be wrong. It has to be by 10,000. Multiply it by the percentage will be obtained by multiplying by 100 which is equal to, now we can see these cancellations. These two zeros will cancel these two zeros and these two zeros will cancel these two zeros. We will be left with 21. So the answer is 21 percent. The same question could have been done by applying the formula that would have been another method of solving it. I'll solve it by that method also. So I'll write it that this is method 2. If you remember our previous lecture, there we, decide, there we found out that if the width increases width increases by a percent and height increases by b percent then area changes by 
changes by a plus b plus ab by 100%. So, I will write derived earlier for a rectangle. In the present case, the side, the figure is a square, so both the width and height increase by 10%. That is, we have now, if A is equal to B is equal to 10, like in this case, then required increase will be equal to, put the values into this formula, 10 plus 10 plus 10 into 10 by 100 percent which is equal to 10 and 10 will be 20 and since this is 100 by 100 it will be 1 so the required increase would be 21 percent the same answer we obtained earlier let us move to our next question now the diagonal of a square is 4 square root of 2 centimeter the diagonal of another square whose area is double that of the first square is what? Basically, the game is between diagonal and the area. Let us start first of all by establishing a relation between the area of a square mm. and its di diagonal. Either you could directly write the relation or you can derive it just in time by drawing a small diagram. Let the side of the square be A and the diagonal be D. Then we can see from the Pythagoras theorem that D square is equal to A square plus A square equal to 2A square. So we can write here that D square is equal to 2a square. Now with this in mind, let us write the formula for the area of the square. Area is known to be equal to the square of the side, so we can write a is equal to a square. But we know that d square is 2a square, so a square will be d square by 2. You can take the 2 to the other side. A square will become D square by 2. So we can write which implies area is equal to D square by 2. So now let us calculate the area of our first square because we have to double it and obtain the area of the second square. So we can write area of first square is equal to d square by 2 that is 4 square root of 2. This is the square of the diagonal by 2 which will be equal to this will be 4 square, that is 16, multiplied by square root of 2 square will be 2 only, and this 2 is already there, so it will leave 16 with us. So, area of the second square, area of second square, would be double of 16 
we have to find the diagonal of another square whose area is double that of the first. So we would say it is 16 multiplied by 2 that is equal to 32. Now if diagonal is D, if diagonal is D, we can say that D square by 2 should be equal to 32. D square by 2 should be equal to the area which is 32, which implies D square should be equal to 32 into 2 equal to 64, which implies D should be equal to, now take the square root, square root of 64, which comes to 8 centimeter. So, this was the rough work and we used this rough work to obtain a relation between the area and diagonal of a square and we used this relation first of all to find out the area of the first square because diagonal was known to us. Once we had the area, we went to the area of the second square which was 32 and reversed the whole story and used the same formula to set d square by 2 equal to the area of the second square which immediately led us to 8 cm as our answer. Let us move on to our next question now. If ratio of areas of two squares is 225 is to 226, we have been given area and the ratio of their perimeters. So the game is between the area of a square and its perimeter. Let us try to find out a relation between the area and the perimeter. Let us do so. We know that perimeter P is equal to 4 times the side of a square, which implies that the side of a square is equal to P by 4. P by 4. So the side of a square is P by 4. 4. Keep it in mind. We also know that the area of a square is equal to the square of a side. Now we can put this a into this which is equal to p by 4 whole square. a has been put equal to p by 4 which is equal to this will be p square and below you will get 16 or we can write which implies p square is equal to 16 a which is our relation that we can use. This is the relation between the perimeter and area of any square. Now let us apply this to our two squares we have been given. So we can write for first square, for first square we can write that P1 square is equal to 16 into A1 where P1 and A1 are the areas and the perimeter of the first square. And similarly, for the second square, we should have P2 square equal to 16 into the area of that square. P1 A1, I will write here, I will write here P1 and A1 are perimeter and area of 
first square. This is P1 and this is A1. And similarly P2 and A2. Now we have been given the ratio of the area of the two squares. We can see that that ratio can be established if we divide the first equation by the second equation. So we'll say dividing dividing what we will get is P1 square by P2 square. We can write it as P1 by P2 whole square equal to 16A1 by 16A2. We can see that this 16 and this 16 can be removed which is equal to A1 by A2 has been given to us as 225 by 256. So we can write it as 225 by 256 which we can write as this is 15 square and this is the square of 16. So we can write it as 15 by 16 whole square. Now we can easily see that which implies P1 by P2 would be equal to 15 by 16 which is the required answer. The ratio of their parameters was required. We have seen that P1 by P2 should be 15 by 16. Let us move to our next question now. The perimeters of two squares are 40 and 32. The perimeter of a third square whose area is the difference of the areas of the two squares is what? The difference of the areas is there. What we will do is, we will first of all obtain the sides of the two squares with the help of the first statement. We know that perimeter is equal to 4 times the side of a square which implies the side of a square is the perimeter divided by 4. P by 4. So we can write side of first square is equal to the perimeter of the first square by 4. The perimeter is 40. So we will write it as 40 by 4 which is equal to 10 centimeter. And similarly the side of second will be will be 32 by 4. 32 by 4 which is equal to 8 centimeter. We have 10 as the side of 1 and 8 as the side of the second. We have to find out the perimeter of a third square whose area is the difference. So what we can write is, we can write area of third square, the area of the third square should be equal to the difference of the area of the first square. The area of the first square will be 10 square minus the area of the second square. So in this case it will be minus 8 square. We can write it equal to 100 minus 64 which comes to 36. Now this 36 should be equal to the square of the side of the third square which implies side of 
third square the side of the third square should be equal to square root of 36 a square is 36 so the side would be the square root of 36 which is equal to 6 centimeter we can write it as which implies a is equal to the side of third square is equal to this and which implies the perimeter should be equal to 4 times a equal to 4 into 6 which is equal to 24 centimeter We have taken up five questions on the areas and perimeters of our squares and rectangles. And we have seen that these questions, they simply require us to write the formulas, the relationship correctly. Only one or two formulas are there. The rest is just a game between them. You should go through the solutions which I have already given. Try to solve them yourself because these solutions have been given in a much shortcut way and you should try to understand how I have written them.